Let's 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 talk about a ve- a very recent episode yes. uh, involving uh, Nahim Ajmal from yes. Bamga, most commonly known as uh, Mufti Abu Layth. Yes. Um, but a small segment uh, of a video he made in August 2020, a very short clip of which he said something along the lines of uh, the Palis- Palestinians should leave mm. and give Al Aqsa to the occupiers um, because no one's going to really come. And help and liberate So you might as well just leave and seek refuge And resettle in the Arab lands uh, You subsequently that, that 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 clip was doing the rounds You did a video A 9 or 12 minute video And um, Within 48 hours of that video um, I'm, He was Unfortunately his house was attacked yeah. uh, By a mob of individuals yes. Masked men They smashed in his window Went into his house Called for him and it was linked to do, linked to his position uh, on Philistine. Yes, um, and then he came out and posted something on Facebook where he, whether he, whether this was his intention or not, he made a clear link between the video you made and the alleged misrepresentation mm. of him that you did mm. and the attack that took place in his house. Um, any regrets about that video? Well, I, I, I have a really... Well, if I knew that this was going to happen, I w- obviously wouldn't put out that video. Um, but I don't think I had any link whatsoever with that video. I don't think what I said, which is a refutation of him, <laughs> caused uh, these people who are unknown to me, this mob, this violent people who don't know who I am, I don't know who they are, mm. to go and do what they did. You know, I, I think that the problem here is when we're talking about criminals doing criminal activity, okay? And then there's a deflection of responsibility or there is a scapegoat that's being used, which is me in this case. I think that's diabolical. Okay. I, I, I reject that in all what about his all sec- forms. What, what about his second claim that you misrepresented his view, that he has always been pro-Palestine, he has been critical of, of Israel, he's referred to it as a terrorist or, or had carried out state I, I don't I make any points against that. Okay. I didn't say that. I didn't say that he's, he didn't, he's not pro-Palestine in his understanding of it. Mm. I didn't say any of that. So rather, would you say then your video was specifically to that point of giving up Masjid yeah. al-Aqsa? Yeah, that's, that, this is what I was criticising him on. And I don't think he's, that is what he said. It's very clearly what he believes in. And do you think that you're going to just make refu- whatever you say, you're going to say whatever you want. And then there's no one going to come and correct you. So why is it okay for you to correct other people? You know, at the end of the day, he he allows all kinds of, uh, discussions to be made He talks about The church uh, The Christ church killer And when he was Making fun Oh the comedian Sorry made, the comedian The yes. comedian The Australian comedian yeah, Who made fun uh, And when he came When he came out Abu Layth said uh, He believes that yeah, He's right to Humor, make, humor is yeah. sacred mm. We're talking about The death of like 50 people Cold blood in a masjid And you're saying You you, you take that as Really sacred and important mm. But when your house was uh, raided and stuff And you made your little video You weren't smiling You weren't laughing You weren't doing any of those things mm. And so I believe that You know At the end of the day um, If we if we're being completely honest About these things Just in the same way As you expect people To be very serious about What's happened to you And your family Which is disgusting And diabolical And condemnable And wrong Quite frankly And monstrous haram. And completely haram And of against Islam And something we, You know We are against Of course And criminal just as you expect us to be very serious on those matters about your daughter's suffering, why can't you be serious and your wife or your partner's suffering? Why can't you be serious okay, about the death of 50 people? Why don't you take that seriously? You know, do you not know, and this is the case, we know this for a fact, that the, the victims, the families of the victims of the Christchurch attack were very angered. Some of them, we know for sure. Very about this comedy, this this comedian that came out. And did it. So why do you not why do you not respect those people's wishes? Mm. Why do you expect everyone to just care? Is this very? Uh, it's a different kind of narcissism. It's, just, it's, a, it's it's a very odd kind of narcissism. It's like when it's you, everyone has to be very you know serious and talking like. And moreover, and this is something that was said in the comments, and I think there's a, a degree of truth in this. You are telling people to leave. Um, because they're under attack So why don't you And take your family And leave as well Birmingham Unless but Because if, if the, the whole Illa If you want to put it In an Islamic sense Right mm. The Illa is That Darar 
okay, or it's uh, causing harm, and therefore they should leave, do hijrah or leave the place, yeah? Which is the same thing as, not not, not the same, but another sheikh said this, I'm not yeah. going to mention him, right? Famous sheikh. If, if that's the illa, doesn't that apply to you as well? Because now you've been under attack one time, how do you know it's not going to happen again? How do you know that because of your views, which are completely anti-Islam, you will not continually be uh, you putting your family at risk by being in that place. So wouldn't your own reasoning be u- used against you here? Bro, these are all valid points that you're making. Um, and, and, and most, if not all of which I agree with. But I guess the specific point I'm asking is that he would argue yes. um, is that you misrepresented his views. How? Um, because that, that 30 second soundbite of telling the Palestinians to leave Mosul al-Aqsa, give it to the Zionists, and to relocate, and, yes. and, and it, in the Arab lands, was taken from a twelve-minute video. So what? Is uh, that is that not his view? Is, is that is, is that not his view? Yeah, of course that's what his, is his view. view? He, no, it's his view. So, so what's the problem? The, the problem is that the proximity of the time, according to him, the misrepresentation plus. No, but it's not pro- misrepresentation if it's representing exactly what he believes. He's confusing misrepresentation. With mentioning every single one of his views on a topic Misrepresentation is when I distort the meanings of something That X becomes Y and Y becomes Z I'm not doing that He said that his view is that those people should leave East Jerusalem, Masjid Al-Aqsa Or whatever it may be, any parts of West Bank or I don't know what areas he's talking about in particular Maybe even Gaza, mm-hmm. I don't know And go to other Arab lands Okay, If that's his view then I have not misrepresented it. Unless he's saying that's not his view or that he's abrogated that view or that he has a different view. So I've not misrepresented that view. If Unless what you're telling me is that he's changed his view or that, that he didn't say that in the first place. Oh, he definitely said it. Okay, so that so um, that I'm not misrepresenting it. It's, I'm maybe not adding the fact that he also, he also happens to call Israel a terrorist state. Look. So that's nothing to do with that. Look, 